Hey guys, today we're going to look at the difference between a polyembryonic seed and a monoembryonic seed. And these are coming from a mango. Uh, and before we dive deep into that, I just want to explain this one thing. When you cut inside of a mango, you're going to have what looks like a large seed. But in fact, that is not the seed. That is called a husk inside of that husk is where you have the seeds. So what I like to do is I cut open the husk and then I remove the seeds and then plant them. So with that being said, this is a polyembryonic seed. So inside of the husk there were five seeds. As you can see all five came up and out of these five, four will be clones of the mother plant and one of them will be completely different. Very hard to tell which one is which, so I'm not going to figure that out. And now we look at these monoembryonic seeds from a carry mango tree. Only one plant comes up because inside of the husk there was only one seed. Now, being that it's only one plant, this one's actually going to be different from the mother plant. But it's not to say it won't have characteristics of the mother plant, because it will, but it won't be exactly the same as the mother plant. We'll take another look at another polyembryonic. So as you can see, this one is a lot larger than the other two and you will see that with the polyembryonic seeds they will not all shoot up at the same time as you can see here there are different sizes so what I plan on doing is once they get a little larger I'll separate each one and I will use the polyembryonic plants to create grafted trees and then I'll add different varieties of mangoes to them. But on the mono, I'm going to actually let these grow out and see if I get a new variety. Now these are only about a month old, so it's going to be about four to five years before they start producing mangoes. With these here, in about a year, I can graft them and potentially get fruit in about three years off of the tr trees I create which are called the grafted trees and I'll probably make a video then once I get to that part but I just want to show you the difference between the poly and the mono embryonic seeds this is another mono embryonic it's just going to have one plant we'll take one more look at the poly embryonic seeds. So I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.